What is glorification? The glorification of the saved person is the final process in the salvation experience of the redeemed sinner. The glorification of all Christians is the future aspect of salvation. It is the completion of the ordo salutis. That is a Latin term simply meaning order of salvation. And the order of salvation commences or begins with divine election by God's act of predestination based upon the calling to hear the gospel followed with regeneration by faith with repentance granting justification by God that leads to sanctification of the saved reinforced by the perseverance of the true believer concluding with the future physical resurrection of the believer to glorification at the return of Jesus Christ. The glorification of the believer is a physical and spiritual transformation that will be realized for all the New Testament saints at the end of the current church age with the rapture of the church when all dead Christians are physically resurrected from their graves with glorified immortal bodies and those living saints at this time will be caught up and transformed from mortal bodies to immortal bodies to meet the Lord in the air together with the dead that were raised with the living. The resurrection and thus immortal glorification of the Christian's physical body is the act of glorification and the completion of salvation. The coming of Jesus Christ for his church will be the hour of that glorification and is the blessed hopes Paul speaks of in Titus 2.13 and 1 Timothy 6.14. The glorification of the church will be the permanent removal of the presence and power of sin from believers and is the perfection of the redeemed for all eternity to come. What a day that will be. GotQuestions.org accurately states that at the return of Jesus Christ for his church, he will transform our lowly bodies to be like his glorious body. Although it has not yet been revealed what we shall be, we know that when he returns in great glory, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is, 1 John 3, 2. We will be perfectly conformed to the image of our Lord Jesus and be like him in that our humanity will be free from sin and its consequences. Our blessed hope should spur us on to holiness, the Spirit enabling us. Everyone who thus hopes in him purifies himself as he is pure, 1 John 3, 3. For just as Jesus was raised from the dead with an immortal, glorious resurrected body, so will all believers be raised the same way with a physical, immortal, glorified body. In fact, according to Romans 8.30, the future glorification of believers in the church is already an accomplished act in God's mind that is still yet to occur in the future. Theologian Floyd H. Barakman in his book, Practical Christian Theology, correctly observes that Glorification is God's capstone in the redemption of Christians and is the completion of their salvation. He writes, quote, The Apostle Paul wrote that those whom God justified, he also glorified, Romans 8.30. Being already accomplished in God's mind, glorification speaks of the completeness of gospel believers, Romans 8.23 and 13.11. This will take place when God delivers their bodies from mortality, corruptibility if dead, inherit corruption, and the resident sin force, and he changes them for the future state, 1 Corinthians 15, 50 through 53. This will take place when Jesus returns for his church, Philippians 3, 20 through 21, and 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 through 17, and later for other redeemed people when he returns to earth to establish his millennial kingdom. Revelation 24 through 6 and Matthew 8, 11. The future glorification of all the redeemed will be a further reflection and display of the greater glory of God. The completion of salvation will further exhibit the plan of God for the redemption of man as an accomplished work whereby man is finally and permanently delivered and saved from the ruin of sin the power of death, and the ravages of the fall. Redeem mankind.
will be restored to a perfect state, like Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden before the fall. Only this will be more because the redeemed will gloriously exist in a sinless, perfect state, both in a physical and spiritual way forever. The glorification of believers will also be experienced by creation, starting with the millennial reign of Jesus Christ on earth, followed by the creation of a new heavens and earth when all imperfections will be permanently removed and God will be all in all, Revelation 21, verse 1. At that time, the glory of God will be spiritually and physically manifest in all things and people and will completely and universally permeate all existence. And so what Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 15, 20 through 28 will finally arrive with the glorification of the church, the abolition of death, and the completion of salvation.